This is question one from paper 3-1 from the June 2020 Cambridge International Exams. Up the top right of the screen you'll find a card that'll bring you to the playlist where I do all the other questions from this paper. And in the description below the video you'll find a link to an image of this question so you can try it yourself. This question involves an inequality and they ask us to find a set of values for x that solves this inequality. Basically at the end they often want something like x is greater than 2. Something like that. They tell us to give our answer in simplified, simplified exact form. So it's not going to be two. It's going to, a spoiler, it's going to have natural logs. Actually, any logs you want now that I think about it. It could be any um, logs. So we just play around with this until X is on its own. There's two X's up here and up here. They're in the powers. They're in the indices, which is, that's our clue to use logarithmics. You can use any logarithmic you want, but I'll, I'll go ahead and use the natural log. It's, um, they're all very equivalent. There's, we have rules for them, and one of the rules is a way to change between them. All right, well, the first thing I'll do is I'll get rid of this 2. This 2 is in my way to get the logarithmic of this. So I'm going to rewrite this as 3 to the power of 1 minus 2x is less than a half 5 to the power of x. Every time I do something to this equation, I am going to think, am I allowed to do it to an inequality? You have to be careful when it comes to inequalities. Um, all right, so let's take a log of both sides. Now, like I said, I'll take the natural log of both sides. It might be a little easier, I guess, to take the log to the base 3 of both sides, but that's going to cause tr uh, problems later on. Um, when I try and equate things, uh, this one, for example, not too much problems, and it'll work fine. Um, so let's continue on. We'll take the natural log of two things. That's the same as taking the natural log of one plus the natural log of the other. Also, natural log of five to the power of x. That is the same as the x coming down here. And while we're doing this and saving myself ink, again, this power can come out front one minus that's the real advantage of using logarithmics. When you take the logarithmic, this indice, this, um, this power here, comes down and is only multiplying. It's hard to deal with these powers. It's not too hard to deal with multiplying. Right, let's rearrange this so x is on the left and everything else is on the right. Let's see, here's an x, minus 2x, minus 2x natural log 3. Where's the other x? Here's another x, and if we take it away from both sides, that's okay. That's not gonna change any of the inequality. If we take this away from both sides, we'll have minus x natural log five. And what does that leave? We'll have a natural log half. And there's still a term here, one multiplied by natural log three. Let's take that away from both sides. Minus uh, one multiplied by natural log three. Okay, let's take x out of both of these. We have x here, left in be minus two natural log three, and this would be minus natural log five is less than natural log. Right, here's another one where we have a rule. We have natural log a half. Um, actually, you know what? Let's change this to minus natural log two, first of all. It would be easier than writing a half every time. I probably could have done that up there. Natural log 3, and we'll, put, we'll combine these in a moment. Okay, let's divide both sides by this. Now, here's where we have to be careful. We're multiplying or dividing. Are we going to multiply or divide by a minus number? Well, natural log 3 is a positive number. Natural log 5 is a positive number. 2 times, a, that's, that's positive, that's negative. That's negative. This is a negative number. So when we do divide it by both sides, we are going to change that. That is going to become a greater than. We have minus natural log 2, minus natural log 3. I'll leave these separate because all the minuses will disappear on us in a moment. Over minus 2 natural log 3, um, minus natural log 5. Now, all these minuses can cancel because we're not going to involve the, um, the equality here. We're just going to top and bottom, multiply and divide by a minus. So we'll get all of these to be a plus. So let's see what we can do now. We have x is greater than, see natural log two plus natural log three is the same as natural log two times three. That is six. 
and divide it by, well, first here, let's see, natural log 2 times natural log 3. That's the same as natural log 3 to the power of 2, which is 9. So let's rewrite this in our heads because I don't want to use too much ink. Um, natural log of 9 plus natural log of 5 is, you know, I'll, I'll use more ink. Natural log of 9 plus natural log of 5. So this just became natural log 3 to the power of 2. And the very last line, the simplest I can get it, is natural log um, 6 over natural log 45. All right, that is uh, full marks to this question. Give your answer in simplified exact form. That's as simple as we can get this. Uh, if you have any follow-up questions, if you're not sure on anything I did there, please put your question in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer you. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.